Uh, good morning, uh, friends, ladies and gentlemen. It's really honor to be here at this vibrant gathering of young and aspiring entrepreneurs. And as we celebrate India's 75 years of independence, in fact, 77th in progress, we are not just celebrating a milestone but our history, and we are witnessing a new dawn for entrepreneurship in our nation. Today, India is not just signing, but is radiating new possibilities. The entrepreneurial landscape in our country has never been as enticing and as enabling as it is today. We are in a unique juncture where our demographic dividend, technological advancements, and culture of innovation are converging and creating unparalleled opportunities. And I must congratulate uh, the Entrepreneur Magazine team led by editor Ritu Maria for such a wonderful lineup of eminent speakers, which is covering all the relevant sectors, such as green tech. As we know, the environment concern takes center stage globally, and India stands at the forefront of green tech revolution. Our country is blessed with abundant natural resources and has a strong base of skilled human resources and is poised to lead the green technology sector. Health tech, as you see, the recent pandemic and health crisis have underscored the importance of robust healthcare system. And India's healthcare sector is ripe for innovation, offering immense possibilities for entrepreneurs to make healthcare accessible and affordable. Again, in health tech, we are one of the largest population of young learners and our education sector is undergoing digital transformation, offering tremendous opportunities for startups to democratize education, making quality learning resources available to every child in the country. Food tech, the diverse food tech from farm, farm to fork solution, and innovative food processing technologies, opportunities are di as diverse as our cuisine. Social tech is technology aimed at addressing social challenges, holds immense potential. Entrepreneurs can leverage technology to create solutions for societal issues, aligning business success with social impact. FinTech in the sector which is very close to my heart, it is addressing a paradigm shift through FinTech innovations and from digital payment to lending to wealth management to insurance and financial inclusion, the fintech space offers still a lot more opportunities to redefine the financial landscape in India. So fingers crossed, it starts a line for India. China's downside is inescapable. Uh, about 50 years ago, they had they started a one child policy. And the impact is that maybe the next 30, 40 years their population might have and we will easy population. So then the market was sick. And they had always scale advantage based on the domestic market. Also, geopolitical tension with China has never been worse. And therefore, India will not only be the fastest growing economy in the world, but will also be the most attractive destination for global capital. I mean, goes without saying that the government has to continue reforms and our other players have to continue to show passion. And it's an appointed moment for the entrepreneurs to step up and fill the gap offer solutions not to, not for just India, but for the world. So, my next 25-30 years will be not more exciting than the past, but I can reflect on my journey. I am building one of the leading financial services problems over the last 27 years. And I also want so many successful entrepreneurs that I can share a few lessons uh, that we learned over the years. One is that you know, very nice people, entrepreneurs ask them what kind of business we should get in or what is the business opportunity that we should target. So I think the one simple formula is that you should try and find an unfulfilled customer need that you can do or you can fulfill better than anybody else. And you have a boat which either comes from your natural uh, talent, skills, education as well as interest. And you find an opportunity where there is a scale and where the canvas is larger, so that when you are successful, you can keep growing. Uh, another important formula for success, I would say, is to focus on customer and not competition. 
Being aware of your competition is important, but don't be obsessed with it. Focus on understanding and serving your customer better, and that approach will naturally lead you to do much better than your competition. In fact, what Bill Gates once said is really that, that your most unhappy customers are your greatest source of learning. So embrace their feedback, especially negative feedback, as a gold mine for improvement and innovation. Uh, in terms of personal traits, what I always say is that all of you are naturally talented, well educated. But maybe what we need are, and what at least I have learned over the years, and that can be captured in three edge, which is hard work, humility, and honesty, as a secret to success. And they are the cornerstone for success. Uh, so I would say that if you really want to be successful under all circumstances, work hard, stay humble, and adhere to honesty, and then set your path. Entrepreneurship, again, is all about taking risks. It's about daring to dream and taking calculated risk, calculated risk to turn your dream into reality. So, you know, you can't be an entrepreneur and say, I won't take risk. Otherwise, you know, you can be employed and there's relatively less risk here. So, you have to welcome uncertainties, expect surprises, and be ready to make course correction. And this agility is what will enable you to see the opportunities in a rapidly evolving environment. Uh, I think over the last few years, I have seen that another important uh, skill or a trait required is to collaborate. In this VUCA world, collaboration, collaboration is key. The entrepreneurial ecosystem in India is teeming with mentors, investors, fellow entrepreneurs. So that's why you can collaborate with your peers, seek guidance from mentors, and learn from the experiences of others. So the strength of ecosystem lies in this interconnectedness. Uh, again, in this digital world, what we have seen that innovation has become lot more important than what it was when I became an entrepreneur. And it's not just about technological innovation, but also about being innovative in business model, marketing strategies, and how you engage your customers. Think outside the box and be willing to disrupt the status quo. So before I conclude, I want to address the small and medium enterprises here today. I mean, they are thinking big as one of the sub team. The SMEs are backbone of the Indian economy. They embody the entrepreneurial spirit of our nation. And as we look ahead, it's crucial for SMEs to embrace big thinking, which is just not about size of your enterprise, but about the grandness of your vision and the depth of your ambition. As you know, that every large population started as a small enterprise. Reliance also started as a small enterprise. But more often than not, a small enterprise has grown to become a big one with perseverance, innovation, and the courage to take big. So each of you can be a large corporation one day. Your journey will require digital transformation, exploring new markets, and constantly innovating. The mindset shift from just being an SME to a potential industry leader is essential. The entire growth story will be significantly driven by how our SMEs evolve, innovate, and scale up. Uh, and India's vast market actually is a unique advantage to scale, and it does require building a team and having robust systems and processes. To understand your market deeply, adapt to digital nuances, and scale in a way that is sustainable and responsible. So, deep big, plan meticulously, and execute relentlessly. As an entrepreneur, you are not just building businesses, but you are shaping the future of our nation. The opportunities ahead are vast, and the time to act is now. So, let's leverage our collective talents, insights, and passion to create a brighter future, not just for India but for the world. So with hard work, community, honesty, and willingness to take risks, there is nothing that you cannot achieve. So thank you for the opportunity to speak with you today. I am really excited to see the incredible innovation and successes that you will bring in India and to the world. Let's work together to make India shine brighter than ever before. So best wishes for your entrepreneurship. Thank you.